this is just regular foam you'd find inside of a helmet. And this is the magical yellow foam. We have a, a steel ball bearing here. We're gonna actually just drop it on the wood table. So I'm gonna say about here, this is the standard helmet foam. Now we come over here. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> what? So that's all the other word. That, 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 that is cool. Word. <laughs> what? It's, you're not compressing just in that area. It's spreading that little yeah, bit Yeah, but it's dispersing the impact. We need to get some real world testing, so let's get some helmets involved. Gotta get a dummy and like give it a beating. Brian and I are setting a baseline test by launching baseballs at a test dummy wearing only a helmet. We also brought shockwave stickers, and basically these stickers can measure the amount of G forces an item sees. We're starting with a sticker that has a 50 G threshold. If the impact is greater than 50 Gs, a red line will appear. A 50 G impact could give a player a concussion. I've got this dial set to pitch at 70 miles per hour. Let's see what Mark can take. Ah, it was a good, solid hit. Right on the side of the helmet. Oh yeah, it's red. So why don't we stick a new sticker on there, put the second skull over top, and try the same thing and see what the results are. Okay, good to go. Oh yeah, that was oh. a good one. There it is. All right, here it is. Nothing. Nothing? I didn't think that was gonna work. <laughs> Second skull protected it well enough for us to say the full 50 Gs weren't felt. That's a good result. So let's turn up the dial to 80 miles per hour. Let's see if we can break it. Oh! Nice! That was a solid hit. It worked!